Hi everyone and welcome back to another vlog. As you can see behind me, we've got our Christmas tree. I'm so excited. I'll get them to show it to you in just a minute. But Theo came home from Ikea with that a couple of days ago and I had no idea that he would come home with a real Christmas tree. Like, none at all. I was so shocked. Because I thought we were just going to put up our artificial tree again, which is a nice artificial tree. But I, I'm kind of excited to have... I'm not kind of excited, I am very excited to have a real Christmas tree this year and I was so surprised. So, I'm going to show it to you and then when he's finished working, we're going to come down and we're going to decorate our Christmas tree tonight. I'm so excited. This is our Christmas tree. It's actually a really nice one. They said he got this from Ikea. So yeah, oh hello. Look who's under the Christmas tree. Hi buddy. So cute. But yeah, it's a real one. It smells so good. I am going to pull the Christmas decorations out of the closet and see what we have and see if we need anything. And we're going to do as much as we can tonight. And then tomorrow, if we need it, I might go out and grab something. So let's see what I have in the closet. <laughs> I think that's pretty much everything that we have. There's like the tinsel. Oh, you like? Do you like the tinsel? There's the tinsel, and there's um, like the bubbles and stuff, and there's lights in here, and then the tree topper, some more here, and then this little Merry Christmas sign, which will go in the kitchen. So normally above the sink, I've got this little sign that stays here, but during Christmas, I swap it out for the other one. There we go. Perfect. And then this little guy is actually a Christmas decoration. We got it last year, so I'm gonna put it with this stuff because that needs to go on the tree. And then I've also got a few things I keep down here that are for the Christmas tree. There's more back here, I know it. So I've got these little ornaments as well. My mom bought us this one. And then there's just a few other ones. Like these I think are supposed to be keychains, but I taped them together and made them um, a little Christmas decoration. And then these we picked up a couple years ago. And then I've also got this um, North Carolina Christmas ornament because if you don't know, that's the state where I grew up. So I picked this up before I left and this hangs on our Christmas tree every year. And then when it's not Christmas, I just kind of like hang it up somewhere in the house. So I'm just gonna put all these on top of the box and then that's all of my Christmas stuff pulled out. And then once we've got all that on the tree, we'll see if we need anything else for this year. Okay, it's the next day and we're decorating the Christmas tree now. And look who I've got. Who are you? You! Help me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, let's do it, come on. Okay. You've been nagging me. Stuff. Let's do it. I like it as it is. No, I don't want a plain tree. It's nice. No, I want a decorated tree. What should we start with? Lights. Tinsel. Lights. Tinsel or lights? Lights. Lights. lights.
Okay, there's the Christmas tree, all finished. I think we did okay. It's not bad. We did great. You think we did great? Yeah. <laughs> the tree's a little skinny. Yeah, there's certain parts where it's a bit, like, not full. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing we have, where are you, there you are. The only thing we have left to get is we need an ornament for this year. Like we have one, what's the matter? Did you just dump the whole thing of yes. batteries out? Yes. Anyway, um, all we have to get is an ornament for this year, because we have one for 2017 and 2018. Yeah. So we need to get one for this year, and then it's finished, finished. Okay. And we need a tree skirt. Okay. And then it's like, done. Well, look at the mini trees we got. Oh yeah, we picked these up at Tesco. They're actually real. Yeah. So cute. So we're gonna find some, we got two of these, and then pick the other one up. We got like this medium, well not medium, but small tree. There's a bigger one than this, it's like this tall? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna find places to put these. I thought they were really cute. Yeah. Those little ones were, what, three pounds? Yeah. And that one was seven. seven, so not bad. Okay, so I had to go and change because I was burning up putting that Christmas tree up. We turned like the heat off in this room and it was still so, warm in here so i've changed christmas tree is done like you saw i am going to show you where we're going to put those little trees um real quick but look how cute smokey's being look he's laying near the christmas tree you're so cute buddy i know a lot of people worry about you know like putting christmas trees up when you have cats and you know pets and stuff like they'll jump up them tear them down things like that so far fingers crossed we have had very good luck with the boys and our christmas tree what i tend to do um is put a few christmas like some of the little bubbles like the plastic ones that you don't really care that much about down here on the bottom so that they do have something to play with and then they seem to be less interested in the rest of the tree. So, so far that's worked for us and Smokey was actually playing with this one um, down here while we were setting it up. So, if you have cats and you're worried about them, you know, attacking the Christmas tree and things like that, I mean, every cat is different. Some are just more mischievous than others, but we found that this kind of like gives them something to play with that's on their level and then they just don't really think about the rest of it. So I put the larger of the small Christmas trees here in the corner on the stairs and you just see it as you walk up um, the stairs right there. I thought that was really cute. And then I'm gonna take these two to our room and put them on the TV stand, I think. Okay, so I just put them each on one corner of our TV standing here, and I think it looks really cute. It just adds a tiny bit of Christmas 
to this room. This TV stand is actually um, new. We got it over the weekend. Um, it's Ikea, but it's really nice. I like the white with this light wood. Um, it's really, really pretty. But like I said, this TV stand is like brand new in here and having a TV um, in our room. It's weird to me because never, I've never had a TV in like the bedroom before. So it's weird to me that I can lay in bed and watch stuff now, but I'm liking it so far and I think it adds a nice touch to the room and it's just, it's really pretty. I just like this style a lot. So I'm really happy with this. Hi, would you like to end the video with me? You being cute. Oh, you're just gonna, oh, sorry, you guys gotta wait. Have I interrupted you? <laughs> My sweet wolfie. Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna be it for um, this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, we probably won't add many more Christmas decorations than we already have. Um, I might pick up a few things. Like I said, I need one more um, ornament for the tree for this year. And we might pick up a few bits here and there, but overall, that is, we're decorated for Christmas. Um, part of the reason, like, you might be wondering why I haven't done that much, like, it's just the tree. And, you know, like, the little trees and stuff like that. It's just because it's a rental house. And, I, I don't know, I don't want to, like, accumulate a ton of things right now. Um, and put too much, so much effort into decorating it. You know, when it's not, like, our house kind of thing, so I think it'll be different when once we've bought a house, but for now, this is what we've got, and I'm happy with it. I think it looks really good, so please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, leave us some comments, tell us some stuff, say hi to Smokey, <laughs> sweetie pie, and if you're not subscribed yet, be sure you go ahead and do that because I do have some plans for some future videos, so I hope everyone has a great day day and a great week coming up and yeah is there anything else you want to say you want to say bye can you say we'll see you next time oh what have you seen <laughs> say bye bye all right well we'll see you guys next time bye